briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In an Alabama Supreme Court case from 2010, Priest v. Ernest W. Ball and Associates, Inc., the Buxtons challenged their own property deeds interpretation. Their contention centered around whether or not they held the land in question in fee simple. The property lot, as stated in the document, was conveyed to them for their lifetime and then to their heirs, suggesting that the grant lasted indefinitely. However, the deed also contained exceptions to warranties, interlacing complexity into the document's understanding. The exceptions involved easements and restrictions, which are legal rights to pass over land owned by another party. Additionally, they covered current ad valorem taxes, which are levies on property according to its estimated value. Despite this ambiguity, the initial court ruled favorably for the Buxtons, seeing the language as indicating a fee simple ownership, the highest possible form of real estate ownership. Not satisfied with this decision, the original grantors brought the case to appeal. On appeal, the court found the initial judgment erroneous due to the deed's ambiguous language. They declared the granting clause, which defines the land being conveyed, as the defining element determining property ownership. Other stipulations and conditions stated elsewhere in the deed are considered secondary. In this context, the Buxton's ownership intent was deemed crucial. Thus, the appeals court overturned the lower court's judgment. The case, not yet finalized, was sent back for further consideration, where the court's newfound insights must be applied. The understanding of this case serves as a precedent, driving home the importance of precise language in legal documentation, especially pertaining to property rights. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.